turkey vultures. Not a classic sign of spring, but with the winter we've had, I'm sure most of us would accept any sign. In the meantime, this week on Mead Week, some pointers on the new gate access system, Wounded Warriors on the Ice, and we wrap up Women's History Month with a look ahead to Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. Most Fort Meade residents know by now that the garrison has installed an automated entry system at the installation gates. On Tuesday, April 1st, Fort Meade is starting a 30-day test of the new system. The test is going to be restricted to the far right lanes at Reese and Mapes Road. Once testing is complete, the Directorate of Emergency Services will open up more lanes to use the system. Just a quick reminder, if you join the Fort Meade community after November 1st of last year, you'll need to register your ID card at the Visitor Center. Meanwhile, we thought we'd show you a few tips on how to use the AES. Here's a close-up of the automated entry console. You'll notice a camera linked to the booth, the card swipe, and chip reader. The first question that may come to mind is, where do I swipe? For CAT card holders, you'll be swiping the magnetic barcode on the back, not the magnetic stripe. The top of the CAC should be up and your photograph facing the front of the vehicle. For retiree and family member ID cards, the top of the ID should be towards the pedestal and the photo facing toward the front of the vehicle. There's also an option of using the chip reader to scan your CAT card. You simply hold the ID so that the chip area of the CAC is touching the scanner. Horizontally or vertically, it doesn't matter as long as the chip area touches the scanner. Many questions have been raised about the new automated entry system, including registration requirements, what time of day will the system be used, status of contractors, and much more. You can find answers on our homepage at www.ftme.army.mil under the Directorate of Emergency Services page. In other news, even as we wind down Women's History Month, we transition to April's Sexual Assault Prevention Month. The garrison has a full slate of events and activities for the community. Here's a quick rundown. From April 1st through the 17th, various sites are hosting the Got Your Back Seminar. It's a workshop designed to learn about perpetrators' motives and behaviors in order to devise successful intervention strategies. Next Friday, April 4th, the garrison is hosting a community run. It starts at 6.30 in the morning at McLaughlin Parade Field. All partner units and organizations are invited to participate. McGill Training Center is hosting the Monica Cora Breaking the Silence Experience on April 11th. Cora was raped and kidnapped in 2009 and ever since she's been on a mission to break the silence. You won't want to miss this. April 23rd is Denim Day, an opportunity to show solidarity in protesting the Italian Supreme Court's overruling of a rape conviction in 1999. The assailant found guilty found the verdict overturned when the court said because the genes were difficult to remove, the assailant must have received help from the victim. And on April 24th, the staff judge advocate is holding a mock Article 32 trial in court martial. They'll be discussing ways to enhance the understanding and relationship between the SJA and SHARP personnel. A related story on victim legal support in just a moment. But first, if you need more information on Fort Meade's SHARP activities, contact Stacy Hale, the Installation Sexual Assault Response Coordinator, at 443-845-0876. As I mentioned just a moment ago, here's a message from the Army on victim legal support. The hard part is over. You did the right thing. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, remember, all you have to do is tell the truth. If you start getting nervous, just look for me at the prosecutor's table. You can do this. Let's start from the beginning. This is a safe place, so take your time and try to remember as many details as you can. Good morning, Captain Nelson. I'll be your legal counsel. If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you're not alone. The Army is here for you. Turning to sports, the USA Warriors are a local hockey team comprised of disabled veterans and wounded warriors. The program started in 2007 as a rehabilitation tool. The team, which features area wounded warriors, including some from the Fort Meade Warrior Transition Unit, practices once a week in Rockville, Maryland, and competes nationwide in tournaments and charity games. These shots are from last Friday night's game in Laurel. For much more on the USA Warriors and an introduction to some of the team members, pick up this week's copy of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.